Hey there guys, it's me, Levi, once again. Today I'm going to record a video that has been suggested by some of my Instagram followers, my top five weirdest decks, and uh, a lot of people chose that option. And I was like, shit, <laughs> because I have a lot of weird decks. It's cool to um, show you them as well because yeah, it's really, really interesting to see some of these decks. Some are new decks, some are vintage, some are indie, some are mass market. So I couldn't narrow it down to five. So I snuck in one bonus deck that, that I really wanted to show you guys. Number five. So in fifth place, I have this deck right here. It's a deck that has, that I personally have seen on Instagram a lot. Uh, when it first came out, um, but I don't see a lot of people using this. I saw a lot of people collecting this, and this is the Luminous Void Tarot by Laura Zuspen. It's a really pretty deck. It doesn't look that special. When you look at this box, you're like, okay, that looks normal, maybe a little bit bigger than, than regular, but then when you look at the cards, that's where it gets interesting because these cards are oval shaped and they have this gorgeous gold foil printing on the back, which I love. And this is initially what drew me in, the shape of the cards and this gorgeous back. But when you look at the cards, um, you see that they look kind of uh, different. Like they're very, most of them are very much Rider Wade Smith based, but they are really watercolory. And normally that's not my jam, uh, as you may have seen in an earlier video of mine, but this has a certain otherworldliness and creepiness to it that makes me go, Whoo. Now, I must be honest, and I must say that I don't use this deck as much as I should, especially at the price point at which I bought it. Uh, pra practical reasons. It's very big. It's hard to shuffle this, it's hard to riffle shuffle this because I'm not a very good riffler and I need my corners. But I am thinking about maybe using this a little bit more. Uh, I tend to get really deep readings whenever I use this deck. So so that's the Luminous Void by Laura Zuzpan. In fourth place, there is a deck that I have literally seen zero times on Instagram literally zero times. That is the Starlight Dragon Tarot by Nora Huska. It comes in a gorgeous like clamshell box, lovely text on the inside, great booklet right there. So it's it's amazing. And um, I saw this and I was completely enamored. Nora Huska has another deck out, um, which is called the Gypsy Palace. And um, a lot of people seem to love that. This is a completely different beast, however. Like, this is really, really, really different. Uh, let me show you some cards. So, for example, this card right here. These cards are diamond shaped. There is some glare here. I can't help that right now. Like, I don't have a professional light set up. So, this card is the Empress card because it has a Roman numeral 3. And I can see the Empress right here. And there's this sign of femininity at the bottom. But look at how gorgeous this design is though. Let's see if I can turn it. No, this is how it's gonna be. Okay. <laughs> so the glare is pretty much there. Um, let's see if I can find another great example. Oh yeah. This would be the Seven of Cups. So they all have this really like ornate designs. Uh, one of my favorite cards of all time, two of pentacles. So the majors, as you saw just now, have Roman numerals up top, the minors have regular numerals, and they're very clear color-wise. It's just that with the majors and with some of the court cards, you sometimes have to think, hey, what card is this again? So you need, really need to work a lot with this, um, with this deck in order to um, be able to do quick readings with it. Also, the seller, Nora, she's really, really friendly. Like, um, I had some questions about my order and I contacted her and she responded really quickly and she even threw in a very nice 
uh, pendant of the Wheel of Fortune card for me. Like, that was really cute. Like, she didn't have to do that at all. And I actually wear that quite a lot, too. So, so that's the Starlight Dragon Tarot by Nora Huska. And I have this lovely signed edition, too. Like, I didn't even order that per se, either. Uh, and she's a European creator. And I know that the tarot community mostly um, revolves around the United States, but I am from Europe and I want to support my European creator. So another question for you guys, if you know any great European based creators, let me know in the comments below, like especially tarot and oracle decks, of course, because that's what we're here for. I would really like to learn about more Europe based uh, tarot creators. Three, this is a deck that's very special to me. Um, I got this from my boyfriend for my birthday. Um, he handpicked this. I didn't specifically ask for it, but I couldn't be more happy with it. This is the Marble Moon Tarot by Marble Moon Studios. Also comes in, it comes in a very nice rigid box. And this deck is everything. Now, it's also very much Rider Waite Smith based, so why would this be a weird deck? It's not necessarily uh, that it has a weird system or really kooky artwork, but the artwork is very much non binary and LGBTQ accepted. So, let me show you some cards. One of the reasons my boyfriend chose this is because he really likes it when colors pop, and I like that too. And this has like body positivity, it has um, people of color in it, it has um, all that stuff, all that stuff that you want in this fantastic hysterical fantasy layer. Here we have a gorgeous dark skinned the world card. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. Ooh, and this devil, this is one sexy, sexy devil. The court cards have um, names that make them more less gender conforming so that's really really cool i love that so yeah that's the marvel moon tarot also the card backs oh, amazing so i love this the card stock is really good it shuffles like a dream um i think i saw on the marvel moon studios instagram that she's almost sold out and i don't know if there's going to be a reprint so that's why i wanted to share this with you too great deck then I want to show you my weirdest deck, and this is a vintage deck, and it's really hard to come by. Um, it's the Deva Tarot. I hear you thinking, why is the box so thick? Well, the box is so thick because the cardstock is insane. <laughs> the cardstock is really thick. This is how thick the deck is. And also, there's a complete extra suit, um, the suit of triax triax or suit of spirit as a fifth element and there is a bonus uh, major arcana card now the backs are really simple but also really elegant so i love that so let me show you the triax cards like this is six of triax and you can see that the card has an odd shape it's not a square it's sort of a rectangle but it's definitely not standard tarot size the uh, card titles are on the bottom in three languages and the illustration is within some sort of frame. I can totally understand if there are people out there that dislike this, but I kind of love that. And the art very much reminds me of um, old Carney fun houses would have, you know, like paintings um, outside uh, on the outside of the of the ride. At least in Europe, they would have like these sort of like airbrushed paintings, a very typical style. And um, this deck really reminds me um, of those Carney Fun Houses, like with a, how do you call it, kind of like graffiti-ish, but then old school style or hand paint them. Like, uh, like old carousels, you know? So really really cool and i love the fact that it's so nutty and it has an extra suit so yeah this is probably one of the one of the rarest decks i own and i love reading with it too and then for my 
weirdest deck and this is a mass market deck <laughs> i'm gonna show you the box first the gorgon zero by dolores Vichy, and i love it but i can't work with this because it's so big it's as big as my head and i have a pretty big head look at that like but it's gorgeous it's all black and white there is oh that's actually funny that this card shows up right now there is one little speck of red in the devil card um and i think there's one other card that has it but it's a really cool retro black and white style deck um and it's not even that expensive i believe that there is a mini version out of this particular deck right now but I really wanted the bigger, the bigger version. These make great altar cards to put on your altar. If you do a daily pool and you want to like put it on an altar, have it look, look nice. And this is um, the style of deck that I love that has that weird, weird vibe, um, weird art, not too, uh, not too soft. I like hard lines, like I want it to be in your face. Now, I told you guys that there would be a bonus deck in here, and this is it. It is The Wooden Tarot by Andrew Schwartz from Skull Garden. And this is um, a really great deck, great for intuitive reading, but also really strange. He painted all these card illustrations on wood, and then I think, I guess he scanned them. Um, so all the cards have different wood grain. That's really cool. And the cards look really, really weird. It, this is very nature based. The suits have different names. The aces are gods, not necessarily aces, but gods. Um, and this is a deck, uh, another one of those decks where you really need to pay attention while you're reading this is not an an easy deck that's like oh yeah i'm easy you know like it's easy to read with me you can really easily grasp all these card meanings no you need to have like a certain knowledge of the tarot in order to be able to read th with, with this and that's why i this had been on my wish list for very long but that is why i waited to buy this till it felt right and something about this artwork, once again, uh, I've told this before to numerous people that I know, this artwork is very grounded, earthy, but yet very mysterious and uh, weird and mythical. And that is why I love it so much. Like one of the favorite cards. Oh, there's actually a couple of favorites right here. Uh, for instance, the Hierophant in this deck is really, really great. And at first glance, you might be like, uh, hey, this is just a deer, but for example, right here, something about the antlers is just a little bit off. Or here, the Knight of Stones, you might think, hey, this is a nice horse. No, there's a freaking crystal sticking out of its skull. Like, there's really, like, a lot of weirdness going on, um, and a lot of sim symbolism that's just really, really great to delve into, like, this magician amazing look at that it's a moth but it's a moth with two freaking eyeballs in its wings like isn't that insane so yeah that is uh that was my top five weirdest decks i hope you guys enjoyed it um see you guys later and peace out